I'm out here again. Pretty warm today. It's almost it's like in the low 50s. Feels really nice. Sky looks all right. I'll look for some uh, dying elm trees today. Probably want to get a little deeper in. And just shrubby right here, so I'll look for some elms. So far I'm walking along here. And I'm seeing a lot of oak trees, this big oak patch. This right here, this oak leaf with a big broad top on it. That's white oak. And then these oak leaves right here, smaller. They got the really pointy edges on the uh, on the leaf. That would be a northern red oak. So we got two types of oak trees through here. Kind of keeping my eyes open for because you know the trees lose their leaves and they uh, all that, but there's always right there a couple of stragglers in the early spring. It's just the easiest way to ID a tree is by its leaves. We can sit and look at bark all day, but that's you know it's a lot harder to remember all the information for that. So leaves are the easiest way. To ID the trees. So, yeah, we're pretty much in a big oak patch right now. So all I'm seeing is oaks, oak leaves. All right, so it's walking for a bit. Now I'm starting to see a lot more of these. Those are elm trees, leaves, right? There's a whole bunch of them around here now. There's still a lot of, a lot of red oak leaves too, but I know there's a good patch of elms here. And if we look, I'll take a seat here quick. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the sun. But right in front of me, these like short, you know, small trees here. Those are young elms. And then back there, taller ones back in there about 50 yards or so those are older elms they all look pretty healthy though um, there's a couple like that one it's probably really hard to see but from what I can see there's a few of them that are missing bark those are the ones you want to look for that uh, are gonna have mushrooms here in about a month month and a half or so um, morel mushrooms always pop up around dying elm trees. So if you got one that's completely dead, you probably ain't going to find morels. If you got one that's alive, there might be a few morels around. But the ones you want to find are ones with some bark missing off some limbs or off the main trunk for sure. So this area right here, and it's right next to a pond. That's good too. Because uh, it's going to be nice, moist soil. It's kind of a little low spot. There's elms back here. So there might be morel mushrooms here. So this is a spot I'll have to remember. But it's an easy spot to remember. It's the first pond you had. Not bad. So I'm going to keep moving here. Remember this spot and see if we can find more we're starting to get deeper in so i'm thinking there's gonna be more and more elms got some more elm trees over here not as many a lot still a lot of oaks over here but there's a few elm trees back here 
right next to this other pond. So, it's another spot right next to the water. It's easy to remember. Oh, yeah. Flowing today. Oh, pretty good. It even stinks a little bit. It's thawing out faster today. I might run into someone else out here. See some boot tracks. See dog tracks. Pretty fresh dog tracks. It's pretty fresh, but soft, so it's hard to tell. It's just a melted track or a fresh one. Here's some young ones with bark coming off. They're pretty dead though. I'm going down this trail now. Got to that intersection. Decided to take a right. Looks like it's bringing me out of the woods though. I'll see here. Maybe just. Skirts the edge a bit. Oh, yeah. over this way. Got a CRP grass there. That stuff's pretty tall. Good place for pheasants and turkeys to hide out, but no fun for me to walk through. Oh. Real big old oak trees back here. There's a few of them that are that big. Every once in a while you see them. Those are nice. That's a nice one too. Nice and straight trunk. That's a lucky old tree that never got cut down for wood. Starting to see a lot of deer tracks back here. Getting a little deeper, starting to see more animal sign. Here's some more, those are a little older. That's a melted one. Seeing a lot more deer sign and a lot less people sign. See a couple of boot prints coming back here yet, but getting out of the woods now. Let's see where this trail brings us. I think it brings us kind of to the end of the line. Yeah. Not really much else to look at. just grassland back there you can see maybe you can see there's some little baby cedar trees planted out there so that might be a nice little cedar grove at some point so I think I'll just turn around head back 
Not much else to see back here anyways. It's not really the kind of area I'm looking for today anyhow. I figured I'm walking through the snow here. Talk about the game plan a little bit. I'm gonna hike back to where I was at that intersection. And then I'll be taking the left off of it. Continue on. I stopped last time. We're going to cross that little land bridge between the lakes. Snow's drifted real deep right there. I'm sure some of it melted, but it's gonna, still going to be deep and it's going to be wet and sloppy, so... Pack the snowshoes, and those will help me get across. I could walk, you know, on the lake, but it's a little sketchy with how warm it is. It's pretty slushy. Don't feel like going through, walking back to the car all wet. Once we get over that, I'll hike the back side of the lake. See what's over there, check that out a bit. And I'll probably do a time lapse at sunset. And uh, probably hike out of here in the dark. <laughs> Pack the headlamp and stuff just in you know, just in case be prepared. I'm not really worried about anything. So it's good to have a like a knife and a, some water on it and all that jazz just in case something happens. But, so here's the intersection again. So I'm probably just gonna sit for a minute or two and have a little break and then uh, continue on. All right, continuing on. Maybe coming up to this curve up here and then uh, it'll be that land bridge. I'm not going to post hole my way through it though so I'll put on my snowshoes when I get there and uh, next time you see me I'll be snowshoed up and crossing the land bridge. We'll see how it goes. All right between the lakes now can see how it's still like three feet deep of, deep of snow there. So here's the way it came. Figures this is a good time to throw on the snowshoes and uh, start tromping across. So
thick stuff to go through now. It smells real heavy. See the light at the end of the tunnel, though. So, we're almost there. All right. Need it safely across. That's a good deal. There's no way I would have done that without snowshoes. Um, looked like there were some old tracks from someone else walking over here, but they walked on the lake and. Ice is not good to walk on right now. It's just not safe, especially when you're alone. So, pop off the snowshoes and continue on here. It's probably the hardest part of the trail right there. I'm really glad I decided to pack snowshoes because, yeah, post holing through all that would have been a nightmare. All right, so, I'm gonna hide these right behind this log. That's just a little bit less bulk. And a little less weight to carry make my pack a little lighter because i'm not i don't think i'll need them again the rest of it's wooded so it shouldn't be drifted too bad nothing i can't walk through with my boots that's the only section right there i need them so instead of carrying them I'm just gonna stow them away here yeah it's real nice over here too Cedar trees. Still some, a lot of red oaks around here, but a lot more cedars too. I really like cedar trees. They're one of my favorite trees. So it makes it feel a little more woodsy, I think, especially at this time of year when there's not much leaves. Cedars bring a little green to the winter time. So. I did uh, get myself a little warm there too. Got just a touch of sweat going from crossing that, but I was out in the sun and it's warm and it's a little strenuous, so might. Uh... Oh boy! Looks like I'm postal a little bit here. It's a little deep. Hopefully, it's in soon. As soon as I get over to the east side of the lake, it shouldn't be as bad. But we'll see. This, uh, this trail veers off a little different than what I was expecting, but it looks like it rounds out around here, so I'll just see where it takes us. A nice patch of cedars here. I like that. It looks nice. There's a, another pond. See all the water sitting on top of the ice. It's a, you know how uh, kind of a deep bluish green it is. It's kind of a sure sign you shouldn't be walking out there. But I think this might go around this pond and then go up to that clearing. We'll just see where it, where it takes us. Can't walk along this pond now. Back side of it. Back to the trail here. Kind of brings you around these woods over here. But that's clearly a trail. Looky here. Another intersection. You know, not anything that's on a map or anything. I guess it's just here. It's that way towards the lake. That way's the opposite of the lake. I'm assuming we'll try going down that one. That's probably where I want to go. I'm not doing opening now. Must be a Sunday fun day.
people must be out shooting guns. Not really much open right now. They're shooting a lot, so I don't think they're hunting. All right, well, back in the woods again. So, pretty high up over the lake. It's kind of nice. Nice little view looking down. Pretty cool. All right. Yeah, pretty much just a basic trail hugging the lake here. It's obviously a little more grown out here. in here just keep following the trail I'll probably uh, start up again when I get to the cabin at the end of the trail and sit and chill and oh boy that's a pretty decent sized buck track how do you just make a quick note of this that's Sioux Lake over there through the trees there that's Greenleaf Lake. So, where I'm heading now is heading on to the peninsula. So, probably got to post hole a little bit. All right, get there. Well, that's that. Hit the end of the trail. Mm -hmm. There's a sign down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's yellow. One's got a little gate there. So on their land, there's a sign down there. So this is it. It's it's a bit always away from the lake. So I'm probably gonna backtrack again. Go back to where the trail is close to the lake, and then I will uh, sit down, chill for a while, set up a time lapse. Probably got a little bit of time yet before I need to do that, but I'll just sit and relax for a while and enjoy the weather because it feels nice out. Oh, ain't that pretty? It's a heart. I'm trying to find a spot to set up. Wait till the sun goes down. Between a little pond here and the like it's one thing about Minnesota you can walk you know, 50 steps in any direction and uh, find water holy cow look at this big boy That is a big one. There's some big trees back here. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's about three and a half feet thick. From the bottom to the top there. And then, there's that big guy we just looked at again. Here's from a little farther away. That is a big, big oak tree. Nice. All right, I hiked a bit out, so I don't have so far to walk after the sun goes down. We're still on the opposite side of the lake. I'm parked way over there. So, gotta hook around the lake there, and I'll be back at the car. But I was just trying to find an area kind of open enough, but Nice little ravine down there. So, hopefully we can get a good time lapse going. Another oh, nice oak tree. That thing's huge. Looks pretty nice too.
dark now. See the moon there, the trees. So I'm gonna start walking, and uh, it's probably gonna be pretty dark by the time I get back to the car. But way she goes. See you when I get back. Oh, it's definitely getting dark out here quick. Got a tendon in my hip that is getting kind of tight on me. Probably from post holing today. So, kind of just taking my time getting back. Kind of a little sore, but I'll get out of here. Oh, yeah. She's dark. Back to the land bridge. Got my snowshoes back on. So, let's cross this in the dark now. See how that works. Oh yeah, it's getting dark quick. Look at that view though. Look at that moon. It's definitely dark now. It is dark. This thing, uh, at the old uh, at the old headlamp, so that should come in handy. All right, got the snowshoes packed back up. Just gotta do the last little leg of the trail, and uh, yeah, it is it's pitch out here now. It is dark. About an hour since dark. It's a lot longer hike out of here than I remember, but good thing I came prepared because if I didn't bring my light with, it would have been a real fun hike out here. I probably would have made it out, but I don't think it would be as uh, leisurely as it is right now. Alright, well, I made her back. I hiked for about, well, six and a half hours today. So, pretty tired. I would just hop in the car and go home now. Pretty fun, though. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one.